and it is creepy. It's it creepy. Is creepy as hell, but it's it's yeah. it's not. It's just not. I mean, nothing's going to be to the level of, of the Exorcist. No, no, yeah. and I and I don't think that this movie is particularly trying to scare the shit out of you. There are some very scary scenes in it. Yeah, um, there the are. scene, the first time you actually see the witch with the uh, with the little kids when they're boarded up into the barn. Yeah, that scene is fucking scary. Yeah, that is disturbing. Um, you see an old crone mm-hmm. sucking blood. Yep, from the udder of a milk goat. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's a disturbing. When scene. you'd seen, and this is this is a recurring theme in in lots and lots of Northern European stories, you have a you come across in the woods a young beautiful girl, mm-hmm. right, and you're a boy. So what do you do with a young beautiful girl? Oh yeah, you just well, go you, in that hut. You, you fuck, <laughs> and it turns out that she in fact is not a young beautiful girl at all. She's an old crone, a wizened old crone, yeah. who's a witch, yeah. who's got a familiar. Mm-hmm. And you have stumbled into a mess. Yeah. And this is this is a recurrent theme throughout Northern European literature, mm-hmm. and it's in lots and lots of Norse myths, and it's a you know, it's a it, they work this thing into this plot very, very nicely. Yeah, whenever uh, to, to backtrack uh, to more to the beginning of the film, you know, whenever the baby disappears. Um, it immediately cuts to the scene of the witch grinding the baby up into a paste to rub it's, on her body right. and then rub on her her stick to fly. Flying ointment. Yeah, flying ointment. And, uh, flying ointment. That's fucking that's, disturbing. It was, <laughs> once you see this a couple of times and you realize that's what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, an unbaptized baby. Baby, yep, yep. And, and uh, yeah, that's... Uh, you know the thing gets weirder and weirder from there. Mm-hmm. You've got a, you've got the demon, mm-hmm. in the in the person of a black goat, yeah, yeah. black Philip, mm-hmm. and you've got uh, you've got uh, the obnoxious little fucking twins. Oh man, you hated them. You hated I did. them. I the hated entire the movie. Bastards, whole movie. Yeah. Yep. And uh, well, you know, in, in the just like The Exorcist, um, you know, we're not really going to talk about it too much, but Hereditary in this movie, they all they carry the same theme of a family that's being slowly broken apart, mm-hmm. and then that's what pushes the narrative of this demon or possession or whatever supernatural thing is going on. If the family could only just hold itself together, then this bad shit probably wouldn't happen. But. And that, and that's probably part of the story. Yeah, yeah. If you can break down the family, mm-hmm. yes, then you can break down anything. Yes, because yes. the family is the unit of society. Yeah, and mm-hmm. if that glue comes apart, then everything else falls apart in its wake. Yeah, and you see this a lot in these types of movies. Mm-hmm. 